So, Ms. Sharon, can you just uh, share your screen? Okay. Okay, I don't know if you can see my screen. Yeah. I mm -hmm. um, So we'll start with the IMS. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that's great. You have IMS manual. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So this is some manual. Mm -hmm. Okay, so this manual is approved by the top leadership of your company. Yeah. Is it signed already? Yes, here. Yeah. Oh, okay. So uh, the induction interaction is limited and game to mm -hmm. So what we do, uh, products and equipment services as well. Mm -hmm. This is what we do. Okay. Then our scope. This is just a definition for. Yeah, we can directly go for uh, uh, general requirements, you know. Yeah. Clause four. Yes, yeah, clause four, yes. Okay. So under clause four, can you just uh, see the reference documents, quality policy, and HSC policy? Yes. And I appreciate if you can share those policies. So, Ms. Sharon, how do you make sure that the policies are well shared with all the stakeholders and understood also? They will have an access to the SharePoint. Okay. So, they remember has and review the documents as soon as they want to have um, access to it. Uh -huh. And what about the government agencies and your customers, the visitors? or all other stakeholders, even the regulatory bodies. Is it shared on your okay. website also? Yes, we have an OT code as well, and also we have a website. Perfect, perfect. And in your last uh, management review meeting, is the policy reviewed? Yeah. yeah. Okay, any changes? Uh, not so far. Uh, so okay. far, no, no, no. Okay, okay. perfect.
You see, this company references is quality policy, health and safety policy, environmental policy. You have community policy, or you have risk management policy. You know, uh, that's what I'm asking. Where are these policies yeah. signed and distributed, and you know, communicated with all the stakeholders? I had my colleague Mushafa who who was dealing with it. Mm -hmm. So he's not keeping it. He's able to really point us to the right. Okay. Mm -hmm. The right policy. Okay. So uh, I hope you understood. I just want to see the signed policies and the way you communicated with all set. Even you mentioned how you have shared with all the stakeholders. But the right. point is, I just want to see that the signed policies are available as master copy. You know. Okay, I'll just, uh, let me let me get him to uh, send it to you. Yeah, no problem. So without uh, wasting our time, uh, can you just share a few of the other documentation, like how you are making sure your risk assessments are carried out? Can you just share your risk assessment document? Or uh, your reference document is GISP-13, identification and assessment of hazard, even including environmental aspects and impacts. You know. The document reference is GI SP-1313. Yeah, 13. SP GI dash SP-1313. Uh, what we normally encourage companies to have a master list of documents. So these master lists should have hyperlink with the concerned documents. So you can easily trace and track within seconds, you know. I'm sure yeah. you have the same way. Yeah, we have. Okay. Mm -hmm. Which have her? Hi. Hi. Yeah, Felis Berto, welcome. We are just, uh, we just started up actually. Okay, fantastic. Yeah, so can you just introduce yourself? Uh, Sharon, can we get some introduction about the gentleman just joined in? Okay, fantastic. So, yeah, okay. Please introduce yourself. So, uh, so, uh, Morning, uh, everyone. My name is Philip Shaka. Uh, by the name, and I'm the AGC engineer for for Intelasco. I I work with Sharon uh, uh, gathering and preparing this documentation. So I'll be I'll be teaching it from that time. And for some reason, my internet goes off. I will be able to join again later on because I'm using a remote connection. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, it's, and then uh, just if you follow me now to move in, right? I don't really recall seeing this GIS number. I do remember, yeah, 
So whatever whatever the record numbers you have, the uh, purpose is just share the documents which are signed and distributed, communicated, understood by all the stakeholders. So this is just the mechanism because it's a surveillance oh. audit. It's not a certification audit. We will just go for sample based. It's hard to check everything, you know, during surveillance. Only the opportunities we need to find out if there are for further improvement. Because rest everything is verified already during certification audit. Uh, and, and, uh, as, as we talk, right? Uh, sorry, I don't know. But uh, I think you should also bear in mind. Uh, I'm speaking under advisement. I'm not the last member joining the team here, but uh, so far what I could, uh, I could see is that uh, some of the documents will not have been uh, filled or tagged yet because of the fact that uh, I think we get also the sense that the company is still growing and there is a lot of documents which will be filled at a later stage. Uh, case in point, some of the projects uh, that we, we undertake later on, they okay. will be much more involved in uh, needing the documentation, especially in terms of ATC. So those ones want to have them, all the forms filled at this point, but we will have uh, the introductory one, the base points filled already. Mm -hmm. Okay, at least yeah. can you show me the HSC policy, the signed one? You can share your yes. screen. Yes, Sharon will be able to share that. Can you share? Yes, we have the HSC policy. We have uh, the IDA policy. Sharon, if you go to the INS document, you can save it. Yeah. Well, thank you very much. Thank you very much. So guys, uh, we are I'm conducting this IMS audit. Uh, for, some, for some reason, I'm... we are providing some international services as an auditing company. Yeah. So I hope uh, you will have some idea like uh, during this audit. I'm just verifying most of the documentation, like quality policy, HSC policy, the identification and assessment of hazards, the legal register. Do you want appendix? So in the, in the, yeah. the beginning Same of, with the value of uh, we have like organization chart, job responsibilities. Okay. When 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 you see all this, it's already signed mm -hmm. at the beginning, um, containing all the policies and all the. Yeah, Sharon, how do you keep the distribution record? You know that the policies are shared with all the stakeholders, and this is the record. Yeah. Do you you have a, any email reference or that these documents no, are emailed or on the SharePoint? We have a SharePoint. We have a SharePoint. Okay. As I said before, the, the SharePoint is shared by all the members, the stakeholders of the company. Perfect. So that everyone, whenever they need to review a document, they're able to go there and then get the necessary documents that they need. So all, all of this is shared there and all the members can access. Okay. So as an EMR management representative, uh, Ms. Sharon, do you have this appointment letter spec specific to IMS support? Is it issued by HR? As a... By HR? Yeah, by HR, have they issued you any appointment letter as AMR, management representative or IMS, or as an IMS leader, or any reference document you got from HR? HR is uh, here in uh, the last as well. Mm -hmm. So I guess, I guess uh, what you're saying is, what I understand is if the member, if every member has HR, uh, the HR has shared all the documentation with us, right? No, no, no. There is. Uh, yeah. Can I jump here? Can I jump here? Yeah. Uh, so, uh, uh, this 
is in a holding subject, but at this point, I do not uh, see ourselves a confident state that we have an appointment later, per se, which was signed by uh, HR, uh, appointing her as the, as the, as the uh, management representative. Uh, for AMS. Yes, for AMS. But nevertheless, she has been taking this role since we, we started. Oh, uh, no. Uh, what I'm talking about, like Ms. Sharon is uh, mostly representing uh, representing this IMS. So what HR can do is just uh, issue on letterhead that she is, uh, you know, appointed as an IMS leader or as an IMS representative. For uh, And that is uh, what I'm talking about. Just an evidence officially that she is published, announced, declared as a management representative for IMS. So if it's not available, it's just a one minute job. We can request to HR and uh, that document uh, will definitely help to comply with the requirement. I understand. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Is there any legal register available, you know, where you are complying with all the legal requirements? We call it legal and regulatory requirements or legal yes. register, you know. Go to those documents. Yes. yes, we do have. We have compliance report. Mm -hmm. You have to go back to SharePoint. Do we have insurances policies? So, so, uh, so uh, Cheryl, can you go back? Go back one uh, to the main half. Okay, go back. Uh, completed forms. Completed form, the first one. Okay. Uh, go, go down, go down. We should have the uh, legal requirements. One document should come. Written legal requirements. Uh, no, 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 so we have uh, these items that we need to check. Okay. Yes. So you see the commercial uh, license validity, uh, which is 11th of October. Uh, Abu Dhabi, that one is not applicable to us. Quality policies, that is on SharePoint. Agency policy on SharePoint. Review legal and other requirement. Yes, we have. We have two uh, diligences that we do. We do have uh, the experiences that we have undertaken for operations. Mm -hmm. uh, then uh, there is other questions. It's air yeah, quality monitoring. We don't do we don't do uh, air monitoring because we are on on commercial buildings. But we we do we do have a company which does uh, the due diligence to make sure that the office is fit for purpose, fit for use for our personnel. Uh, we have waste disposal as it's, uh, it's, it's, it's a commercial building. All the waste is domestic and it's taken care by the landlord. Obviously, when we move on into the project, the waste will be, will be handled by this headed waste management company inside the project. Okay. Uh, and, and the rest of the questions is you can see for one. Okay, perfect. So, uh, uh... In line with that, uh, do we have any training record available for uh, or or simple IMS awareness and competence, you know, for our employees? Uh, any training record, can you just show up that this is the training plan or training need assessment, training plan, training conducted like attendance sheets, and uh, most importantly, the competency analysis, you know? Okay, so uh, we have, we have, 
for the office, uh, for the office personnel, mm -hmm. at this point we haven't conducted that. Okay. Very straightforward. Okay. Mm -hmm. But we do have, we do have that plan for the project. If, if we go to the HSC plan for the Renko project, I'll be able to provide uh, that we have that plan already. But we haven't, we haven't started the pro okay. project. Okay. So we haven't done the training. But that is part, and uh, that will be conducted. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. And uh, can you just share your organizational chart? Yes, uh, that should come on the INS as well. Yes, yeah. updated uh, one. Yes, uh, INS. Yes, INS should come there under. And uh, and the workbench. There's one of the. Yes, 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 yes. We can directly search on the search bar, you know, organizational chart or. Or organogram. Almost there. Yeah, we can. Okay. So where is Emma, management representative, mentioned in the organization chart? You know? Or is coming under QHS? Management representative or IMS leader? Or is it coming under QHSC as per your understanding? As per our understanding, it's coming under QHSC. Okay, perfect. Perfect. Okay, so, and uh, can you just share uh, job responsibilities of uh, QHSC, like uh, QHSC manager, if you have, or yes. QHSC officer, or coordinator, yes. or engineering? Uh, Yes, Shamila, uh, I think a couple of, uh, she sent it across. Just yeah. share one sample that this is the JD or the job description. Yes, we have that one. Perfect. Just click documents. Click documents there. Okay. This is right because it's not to come there. Okay. So that's one. Now, job description. So, so job description, right? Sharmila, do you have some JDs you could share? I did share all with time. I did share all everything with chat. Um, chat to present. We have JDs. Uh, JDs would come also under under the contract. Uh, so, so sorry. Can you can you send me your email? I'll forward to my my contract prior to signature, and you can see the job description there. Is that something uh, doable? Yeah, from my side. Yes, if you, if you, yeah, if you much better, it. much better. You note down my WhatsApp number, so that would be more quicker. Please send me your WhatsApp. Uh, send your WhatsApp. I'll be able to send you a job description. Yeah, so let me just message here. Yeah, it's it's there. Okay, but I'll send you the job description. You can move on to the next question when uh, I send it across. Yeah, even whatever evidence we are talking about, later on you can share through WhatsApp, so I will add in the report that everything is available. Yes. That would be much better. Perfect. Okay, so can you just share your uh, this uh, suppliers pre-qualification system or supplier selection or vendor selection and approval? Sure. 
how do you select any supplier or contractor or even a vendor? Okay, just give me a moment to share it. I will use the IMS also. Mm Even you can explain, Sharon, how do you select a vendor? How do you select a contractor or disqualify them if they're not performing? I have, uh, I have a database for proving whether the contractor is performing well or not. Okay. And uh, I have a pre-qualification criteria. Yeah, pre-qualification yeah. criteria. You're right. We can open this one. Yeah. yeah. I have you share yours. Sorry, fine. So, uh, Ishtiak, I did send you already. Okay, uh, I just noticed. Later on, I'll check. No yeah. problem. You will see the, the description oh, of okay. the responsibility. That, that's a sample. Okay. What we usually send when we're offering someone. No, no worries. Thank you. So, okay. Uh, so Pre qualification system. system. Mm -hmm. So, you guys can see this uh, pre qualification. Mm -hmm. This is the criteria that we keep in mind before. Getting the contractor. Okay. Uh, there is a word formal inspection. Do we inspect our contractors? Uh, our contractor also include the fabrication uh, warehouse. Mm -hmm. so yes, we have opinion whether it's in the fabrication warehouse. Excellent. Okay. And any report, last audited report, possible to share, please? We will check and uh, share with you. I think uh, we would have a uh, aim. Okay. Okay, so any disqualified contractor in your list? How do you track your disqualified contractors? Like for the last five years or for the last one year? There is a... Like, there do you have a list of other... contractors, first of all? Like master list of contractors yeah. or vendors? And within yeah. that list, what you are recording? That. Let's see that first. So this is the list of approved vendors and mm -hmm. contractors, right? Okay, approved and, and, uh, Only these are approved ones, right? Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. And uh, if you are saying about uh, disqualified, so uh, at this point in time, we don't have a list of that, but... Mm -hmm. You can uh, work on it. Okay. Mm -hmm. Like based on what criteria you disqualified them, either the quality was not good or uh, the delivery time was not good. Yeah. 
or they were not cooperative or meeting your criteria or you were not having sufficient business to accommodate them what was the genuine reason you know to disqualify them and yeah and like the, yeah. The, the criteria help, uh, is normally uh in most of the cases is the delivery timeline okay so mm -hmm. yeah for the better uh, pre-qualification uh file that we have shared with you we mm -hmm. can mention uh, the one which was uh, the the ones which are disqualified and shared okay okay perfect Okay, so and if possible, you know, any document is available, like when you visit your contractor as an auditor or as an inspector, you know, so what points matters a lot for you to verify on site? If it's possible, if you can share that list also. All right, okay. Yeah. Perfect, guys. Thank you very much. Do you need a break for 10 minutes or still we can continue? Uh, it is up to Sharon to decide. <laughs> yeah, okay. I have no problem. Still, I, we can I, continue. I we can, uh, I I can continue. Okay. okay. Okay, okay. So let's let's go with the uh, auditing clause, like internal audit. You know, uh, how many first of all auditors you have in uh, you know in in your system, like IMS internal auditors? Is there any list? No, there, uh, I think uh, I think I can answer here. Uh, I don't recall seeing any. Any list, but we have two auditors. Two auditors are there. Okay. Are they certified? Uh, certification for a certified company, per se, not. Okay. But uh, one of them has taken an extensive training on Udemy. I'm not sure if it is for it. Classifies for it. Okay, so what we normally do is we publish, uh, we internally publicize that these are the internal auditors, and they are the certified and trained one, and uh, this is the internal audit plan for twenty twenty four, and this is how they are conducting the audit, like internal audit report. Can you just share last internal audit report at least prepared by yes. any of these two auditors? Yes. Uh, so the report not, but we do have uh, uh, the PDF of the audit. So uh, Sharon, can you go back? Mm -hmm. Can you go back? Uh -huh. oh, so we're sharing this. Uh -huh. Yes. Yeah. Uh -huh. So can you go back to the care point and open a bit of the PDF uh, document that we have? Can you see my screen? Yeah, I see something remote desktop connection, save. 